powerful visual motion graphics is what After Effects is all about. By utilizing the power of minimal graphics, we'll be able to easily design cinematic masterpieces in no time. So let's create something awesome and get started. All right, we're gonna build out this delicious piece of eye candy from scratch. And unfortunately, this is not candy that we can eat. So I initially created this design using simple shape layer repeaters, uh, but I was unable to make this a truly 3D orbiting object with this method. So essentially we need objects to be able to orbit behind a central object in order for this to cinematically work. So we can create a circle to be our central object with the ellipse tool. Be sure to hold shift on your keyboard and make sure it has a stroke with a three and the fill should be the same color as your background. And then of course, make the layer 3D. Then feel free to duplicate the object and adjust the Z position of the new circle to be closer to us. And then lower the ellipse size so this is actually small. Then create a null object, make it 3D and parent the small shape to it. Now, we have a problem. If we adjust the Y rotation of the null, the ellipse turns away from us as we rotate around the central object. We need it facing us. So to fix this, go to Layer, Transform, Auto Orient, and select Orient Towards Camera. And now it will always be facing us, giving us an orbiting graphic. But to be the best, we need to build this out with practical graphics that work off of each other which is also easy to do and kind of actually fast. So let's create a duplicate of the central object and set its X rotation to 90 degrees. And to see the destruction that we actually just made, let's go ahead and create a camera. And then you can use the orbit tool here at the top to slightly angle down on your scene. You can also use the other camera tools here to reposition your scene uh, if you like. And when you're ready, increase the ellipse size of our newly rotated ring and turn off its fill. This doesn't look like much yet, but it's coming together. But what can come together right now is that you can grab my free 200 template pack and instantly add cinematic transitions and templates with just a few clicks. You can also animate entire projects effortlessly with our presets and keep your creative flow going strong. So save time and stay inspired by checking out the description below. Okay, back in this, we can create some radial lines. So use the pen tool while holding shift on your keyboard to create a straight line with only stroke enabled. Make sure that you create this from the center of your composition and it's vertically centered with the align tab. Keep in mind, I'm only perfectionist when it comes to my hair, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, now we can add a repeater to the shape layer. I know it's about time. Set the repeater's X position to zero. And for the rotation type 360 divided by the number of lines that you want. So this should be 360 divided by 12, which should give you 30 degrees. And then set the copies to 12 and boom, math is great, isn't it? Eh, whatever. I really wasn't paying attention in geometry class. Okay, make the lines 3D and set its X rotation to 90 degrees. And now you can swap over to two views and make the second view top. This will help us more than you know. So inside of the transform shape one, increase the Y anchor point until the lines are touching the outer ring like so. You'll also probably need to adjust the Z position of that outer circle so that the line is connected to it as well. You can also go into the stroke and smack the plus icon to make the line dashes. And if you're feeling cheeky, you can animate the offsets. And now you have some moving lines. All right, so now we need to duplicate the outer circle and hack it around our orbital design. Make sure that only one outer circle is parent to the null object and rotate the null's Y rotation by 30 degrees. Then continue this process until the circles rotate around the entire design. You just need to unparent each duplicate and then rotate the null by an additional 30 degrees. Because of the tricky nature of this graphic, I want to avoid using lengthy expressions that could help duplicate this because, you know, just my small brain can't handle it. And if you feel like it, feel free to duplicate your lines, make the original path longer by dragging the end point out, and then you can duplicate the circle then reposition it to attach it back to the line and then adjust rotation of the duplicated line. And again, use the null object technique to do this all again. And finally, when you're done, you can connect all the layers to the null object and now animate the Y rotation to spin this around forever. Also, you can take one set of the circles and turn off its stroke and change the color to create an important variation. And that's how to make an ultimate orbiting graphic. But now let's make this actually cinematic. Create yourself an adjustment layer and apply the glow effect. 
set the radius to 400 and then duplicate the effect. I'll click the stopwatch for the radius and type wiggle to comma 50 like so, and this will flicker the glow. Now, add the noise effect and try something like 12% and uncheck the use color noise. Of course, you also may want to try the posterize effect and feel free to adjust the value however you need. And lastly, apply the brightness and contrast effect and just add the wiggle to comma 30 expression to the brightness. All right, looking good, but to make this even better in moments, use the camera tools to get yourself closer to your scene. And for the actual camera layer, make sure to enable depth of field and adjust the aperture and blur level to a high value and adjust the focus distance until you're happy with the blur. This does work best when your camera is closer to your graphic, but now you can take these concepts to create other designs and build out your cinematic scene. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.